Happy Wednesday, this is Mike here with Lab Society and we are in the R&D lab and today I'm gonna go over how to assemble the backside of the G3X system from condenser through to the cold trap. Um, we're gonna use the rotavis cap today. So we'll go over the assembly of that and we will make this thing ready to go. So first thing I'm going to do is obviously I've already serviced my valve adapters, both of them. Um, so typically I like to assemble as many things off of the system as I can. So because this piece I can kind of put together while it's not on here, it's a lot easier for me to do that. So the order of which we're going to assemble a rotavis stopper is first the black step ring, which we always want to make sure that this part is facing down, the smaller side is downwards, so just like this. Cool. And then the second thing I'm going to do is pop it up and over this Maria here. And this just makes it easier for me to assemble the remaining pieces. Next is the cap. So the cap will go on just like this. And then the O-ring. Perfect. Next I'm going to go ahead and apply grease to the joint. This grease doesn't matter, or this joint doesn't matter too much if there's a lot of grease on it because it's kind of away from where product is flowing, so there's very minimal risk of contamination. I just want to make sure I get enough on here to get a good seal, but not too much to create channeling or anything, because on these bigger joints you can definitely do that. So then I'm going to go ahead and insert this into the other, the female rotavis side, and then utilizing minimal force, I'm going to rotate these two pieces along the axis that the joints attach to get the grease spread nicely up inside. I want to listen for scratching sounds. If I hear scratching, that could mean that one, the grease is not spread enough yet, or two, there's not enough grease. And while I'm doing this, I'm applying slight pressure this way just to get the joint nicely seated. Cool. Beautiful. Now I can go ahead and thread on my rotavis cap. Get that snug. We don't need to go crazy tight. It's not really holding vacuum. It's just keeping the joints together. And then pop my O-ring down, or my step ring down. So now that this is attached, I can go ahead and at the end of the run, boop, pop it right apart. So the point of a rotavis stopper is, or the rotavis attachment style on a joint is not to seal vacuum. Obviously it acts kind of like a keck clip so it keeps the pieces together, but rather to keep, to be able to remove the pieces from each other. So now that I've done that, I can go ahead and kind of line this up on my system and get it ready for attachment. Next piece I'm going to attach is my valve swing arm. I already serviced my valve. I'm going to make sure it's closed and clean. Add some grease to the male joint. But the cool thing is, is we've kind of eliminated the possibility of grease contamination with this joint because of the drip tip. So this one you don't have to worry about over or over greasing. You just want to make sure you have enough grease that it's smooth just like this. Rotation all the way around. Obviously be mindful of hitting your lattice rack. I have broken glass that way before. Then we're going to take a cat clip and clip it. Perfect. Swing that upwards for now. And then my last joint is going to be my the part that we had pre-assembled. Go ahead and add grease to the joint here. Grab this piece, place it in carefully, and then utilize the swing arm to actually get the rotation, or get the, yeah, get the rotation to spread the grease. We don't obviously want to rotate this part a whole lot because it could break <laughs> and we could hit stuff. So now I'm gonna go ahead and clamp this in place Okay, make sure I get my cat clip on there. Typically I like to make sure my cat clips are installed on the glassware before doing anything else. Leaving glassware that's not under vacuum without cat clips installed may jeopardize the glassware if something were to fall. Cool. I'm going to use two support clamps on the secondary condenser today since this is going to be a big run. Ensuring to have plenty of support on your system is a great way to prevent breakage during a run. Beautiful. Lastly, when getting close to the main body, I'll install a large collection flask prior to swinging the collection arm downward. At this point, I'm ready to start my run. Thanks for watching.